that y equals 1 over x. Hey, you do not like the look of this 1 over x, right? So let's rewrite it. Uh, y equals 1 over x is y equals 1 over x to the negative uh, first power, right? So if you bring that denominator up, you can write this as 1 times x to the negative first power. Okay, so you can bring it up. Okay, you don't really have to put the 1 in front of it. That's okay if you want to just write y equals x to the negative first power. Now let's find whatever this is. Let's read this. What do they want? Ooh, they want the second derivative. So take the derivative twice. That's what we're doing. So let's find the first y prime. You bring down this exponent of negative 1 to the front. You get negative 1 x to the but remember to go down one from the old exponent. So if you do negative 1 minus 1, the new exponent has to be down at negative 2. All right, that's the first derivative, okay? So this is the first derivative. Don't stop here. Take the derivative of this one. This was the first derivative. Let's find y double prime this time. y double prime. So bring down, this time bring down the exponent of what? Negative 2. And it's going to get multiplied by this negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. And the exponent goes down 1 from negative 2. So if you do negative 2 minus 1, you will agree that the new exponent is negative 3, right? So we found the answer. This is the second derivative. If you want to rewrite this uh, by putting it back in a fraction form, it's going to look like this. The 2 is going to stay on top of the fraction, but in the denominator, you can put x to the third power. So both answers are correct. This is good, and this is also good. But when we have that second derivative, that's where we can stop. So sometimes they'll ask you to find like the third or fourth derivative, then you just have to continue finding y double prime, y triple prime, and so on and on.